The Ellis Bandler Society is an international organization, and so we're trying to educate the medical community uh, about these conditions. Uh, we're also trying to uh, support individuals who are diagnosed with a type of ehlers danlos Syndrome or EDS or a type of hypermobility spectrum disorders or HSD. Um, but about 95%, we believe, of individuals with these conditions are undiagnosed. And awareness in the medical community is so low, um, they, they aren't being identified yet. And so a big part of our, our mission is to educate physicians and researchers around the world about types of ehlers danlos Syndrome and hypermobility spectrum disorders. There are about 15 types so far um, that we know of of ehlers danlos Syndrome, and each type can present uh, with its own symptoms or issues. The most common type of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is hypermobile EDS, hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Um, it's, it's known for joint hypermobility, joint instability, uh, experiencing many sublet, joint subluxations, dislocations a day. And um, because these are connective tissue disorders, they're symptoms throughout the body. And so uh, there can be GI issues. There can be eye issues, there can be dental um, and jaw issues, there can be skin issues, respiratory issues, <laughs> name a system, and it has connective tissue in it and, and likely can be impacted. Um, another type of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is uh, vascular EDS. Vascular EDS is the one type known to shorten lifespan. Um, However, with early identification, monitoring, and medical intervention when necessary, lifespan can be greatly increased. Vascular EDS primarily affects the vascular system, and so um, symptoms like aneurysms, uh, aortic ruptures, dissections, and rupture of hollow organs um, are present. Um, Another common type is vascular, or excuse me, classical EDS, and that one a lot of doctors have seen because it's known for really stretchy skin. And so if, if doctors have seen pictures of, of individuals stretching their neck skin out, for instance, um, that's often identified with classical EDS. But with all of these, because connective tissue is found throughout the body, um, we can have a whole cluster of symptoms. Uh, we may go to a GI specialist. We may go to an orthopedic specialist, a cardiologist, a, a pulmonologist, uh, etc. Um, everybody looking at a different issue. A, a wonderful uh, physician in our community, Dr. Heidi Collins, uh, coined the term, if you can't connect the issues, think connective tissues. And that's really sums up ehlers danlos Syndrome. We can have issues pretty much anywhere. Uh, and, and so can can show up in many different places in the medical system.